Four months ago, I spent a hundred days farming melons in Minecraft, desperately trying to harvest a million before time ran out. But I fell short by 9,000, an amount that would have taken four more minutes. But today, I redeem myself by farming not one, but 10 million. Yo, you realize that's 10 times the amount, right? You didn't manage one last time. Do you start with diamond tools or something? No, but I think it's actually possible. In my last 100 days, I spent the majority of my time building this, a melon farm powerful enough to produce 2,000 melons a minute. Looks pretty impressive, but after taking a closer look, hundreds of melons were getting stuck on the sides of the farm. Look, if we're gonna get 10 million melons, we need something efficient, something that won't lose hundreds of melons a minute. This is where flying machines come into play. Instead of adding a piston for every single melon stem I have, I have one flying machine that does it all. This means I collect less resources and get to plant more melon. With a plan laid out, all I had to do was watch 15 different Minecrafts load at once for hours. Look, man, I gotta get the perfect world. Last time I missed a million by four minutes, four minutes. I'm not about to waste four minutes because I have a crappy world. So I'd only open a world if I spawned in a jungle, you know, cause that's where the melons are, but it still wouldn't make the cut if there wasn't an ocean nearby. See, we're actually completely ignoring farming melons for the first day. I intend on spending that precious time to beat the game, which might sound unintuitive at first, but listen, I had stone tools by like day four last time I did this. Beating the game gives you access to end cities, which have OP loot including diamond shovels. Did I mention I'm gonna need 10 fully enchanted diamond shovels to do this? So end ships are our first stop, but unfortunately we're not there yet. I did start the world finding a buried treasure chest, which gave me all the iron I need to enter the nether in five minutes. Next, I had to loot a bastion, but since we're doing everything efficiently here, I used a boat to fly down to my trading spot. I intend on using every bit of speedrunner knowledge I can, including the pie chart, which helped me dig through this wall and find a fortress. All right, 14 minutes, we're to decent pace, nothing crazy. Leaving the nether with everything at 15 minutes on the freaking melon world. Four minutes later, I was at the end of the game. Now we could enter the end right now, but to save time, I wanna have some rockets. I have gunpowder, I just need paper. You can find paper in libraries though. Oh, oh, here's a library. Speaking of, <laughs> I was like, I just need to find where that library is. Okay, uh, boom, look at that. Okay, we have paper, perfect. Oh, we should also probably just snag some of these books for enchanting later, huh? Boom, okay, we are out and into the end. From there, it was as simple as taking out the final boss and the most popular game in the world with a couple mattresses. Boom! Hit him with the four bed! Let's go, dude! Let's go! Okay, there should be... Where is it? Where is it? Where's the end teleportation thingy? Where's the end teleportation thing? Here it is! We're gonna go get our elytra! Boom! Oh my gosh! There's one right there! Look at that! And a diamond pickaxe! Yo, I, I just got so much better gear. While the loot was great, there were problems. Okay, I'm officially out of food. And unfortunately, this city didn't have an elytra, the main thing I was after. Although I gotta say, being fully kitted out in diamond, like feather falling forward, that's so good. To give you context for how efficiently I wanted to do things, there was one point while searching for the elytra that I came across this huge chasm. Typically, you'd mine blocks and bridge across. The quicker, but much riskier approach is to try to throw your ender pearl on these tiny islands. Miss and all your stuff is gone, but make it and you'll save a whole minute. <laughs> Oh, that was the scariest pearl I've ever thrown. It turned out to be a good move though, as I soon found an end ship. Ta-da! Okay, 36 minutes. That's the fastest I've ever got one of those, I think. This feels so nice, dude. And we've only been on for like 30 minutes. I spent the next 10 minutes gathering several key resources, including a lot of shovels, obsidian from breaking ender chests, diamonds, and a looting three source. Wait, looting three! Wait, why did I need looting three? I can't even remember, but I'm glad I have it. Actually though, why did I need looting three? Why do I feel like I need looting three? Guys, what is going on? Slime balls. The whole reason I'm doing this video. That is the basis of the new design. <laughs> like, how did I forget that? Okay, now that we're back, we have a date with a melon. Oh, do you guys see that? Melons? Melons, we spotted them. It only took us until day two, but we have melons. I also got over a stack of obsidian. Holy crap, dude. I'm so excited. I can't believe, I can't believe we've done all this. Bro, bro, it might actually be false. Maybe to help you guys understand the magnitude of this project. I'm scared to log on the world because I don't want to waste time. God, what am I doing? Okay, we got to go down. We got to make a slime farm. So I made my way to the swamp we saw earlier, grabbing seagrass on the way. Rec, why do you need seagrass? Great question. We need it to breed turtles to get turtle eggs. We'll use these to make the slime farm even more efficient. But it didn't look great. We need kind of a big swamp. Dude, why has this gotta be the smallest swamp of the century? The sun is rising on day three. Oh my god. 
Okay, I would start clearing the swamp right now, but this axe is kind of slow. I wanna, I wanna do some enchanting. I like how I'm spending like all of my 60 levels on shovels, dude. Okay, now I think we start building the slime. Pause, or at least that's how it felt to me. I still needed the turtle eggs and pumpkins. I, I kind of forgot about them. Ooh, a village. And I see pumpkins way off in the distance. Let's go. Oh my gosh, there's turtles. How are there turtles? This is like the, the middle of a desert. While here, I decided to abduct some villagers. Get in the boat. Yeah. We're gonna build an iron farm, so might as well get this out of the way. Time for some interdimensional travel. Getting the villagers back was as simple as digging and building tunnels through the nether. Also, I thought this looked really cool sped up, so you're welcome. It was gonna be a great way to get the villagers home. But then I saw this. So I traveled like 3,000 blocks in the overworld. Here's our swamp base. <laughs> There's literally another village like right here. So yeah, that nether tunnel was kind of pointless. Dude, there's turtle next to my spawn too. And there's pumpkins next to our spawn. Okay, am I just blind? <laughs> this is all within like 150 blocks of us. I didn't have to travel 3K. <laughs> Once back, I made sure to do a bit of deforestation just to store the melons. We're gonna need 10, thousand logs day five we're at a whopping 91 melons at this point we should be at a casual 900 000 melons okay that was a bit of an exaggeration 500 000 melons i did my math wrong okay we're only supposed to be at 500 000 melons. that's half of what i got last time dude what am i getting myself into i feel like a menace to society i keep coming back to this village <laughs> to steal villagers in the middle of the night what is minecraft as a game get in the boat right now villagers Get in the boat! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Please. Please. Okay, there As I abducted <laughs> villagers throughout the night, I turned my eyes to the moon. Depending on its phase, the slime farm will produce more or less slime balls. Point being, it's not a full moon yet, so we don't need the slime farm tonight, but we need it operational by the next full moon. Also, this is the last of our three villagers. Should be able to get an iron farm running. No! No! This little baby just... just oh, my villager, no! We need to get Freddy back. Was the villager's name Freddy? No. Is his name now Freddy? Yes. We only gave you a name after you died. It's a wild villager in his natural habitat. And then we boom. No, we, we steal. Once Freddy 2.0 had arrived, I began work on the iron farm, which is a really slick design created by Ian X04. It looks like he's making a beeline for it. Yes, 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 yes. Get trolled. Oh my gosh, you're in my pit now. Now we seal it up and get a zombie. Oh, I see one zombie. Ready? Watch this. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, zombie, come over here. I need you for my villager farm. Now, if all is according to plan, we'll get an iron golem that just appears magically out of thin air. In three, two, okay, we'll give it a second. Oh my gosh, look at that! The iron farm is working! <laughs> Dude, that is so dope. I guess let's just get this slime farm operational. And we're out of obsidian, so we just need a cave. Oh, ah. You guys ready for a cool trick? This is gonna look really stupid if I don't pull it off. No, oh wait, you know what? That kind of works. That's kind of what I meant to do. Day eight saw the slime farm finished. Wait, or at least I thought, I'm so bad with planning. <laughs> I needed snow layers. I had not seen a snow biome yet. So I went searching until I saw my elytra durability on two. Oh no. Um. Oh my gosh, how did we live that? <laughs> What? After getting mending on my elytra, I flew away from the base, got some snow, and finished the slime farm. But strangely, slimes weren't spawning. That's a bit concerning. I waited the entire night, but not one slime spawned. I need slime to do this. My entire game plan is based off it. No. Not believing the farm was broke, I tested it in a creative world. It wasn't working here either. So I did some research. Dude. Slimes may spawn at night between the heights of 51 and 69. Both this test world and the real world are above Y69. So to fix this, I have to take this entire farm that I've built, destroy it, and rebuild it here. That's like a stack of obsidian I have to mine. I missed a million by four and a half minutes last time. I'm traumatized. I'm not wasting four minutes again. So I deleted the entire world and started again. This time I was doing really well. Entering the end in just 14 minutes and leaving with everything I needed by 40 minutes. I built the whole slime farm before day five. And after an entire redo of the playthrough, oh my gosh, it's working. Oh my gosh, yes. 
Yes! It's actually working. I thought it wasn't gonna work, guys. This might be possible. Maybe. Just maybe. I collected 35 slime balls that night. An incredible amount. Relieved after the slime farm, it was time to do something monumental. Boom. Is that all of the melons we have? Wow, I thought we had a lot more. I think it's honestly just Operation Get Dirt. For the next several days, I was a dirt farmer by day and slime farmer by night. I became extremely invested in the slime spawning mechanics. <gasps> Yes. <gasps> yes. <gasps> Keep going. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> Double. Oh. Yes. Get out of the way, it's little slime. Let him through. Let him through. I would shoot you if I had a bow. I broke shovels while collecting. No. And to make it worse, we were only collecting 5,000 dirt a day. That's not good enough. So I spent an hour testing and researching the best way to mine dirt. Depending on the type of Minecraft player you are, you might be a simple one tall sweeper kind of guy, a two tall sweeper, maybe even a three tall sweeper. Not knowing which was best, I timed all of them in a test. The results were pretty predictable at first. One tall sweeper would be slower than two tall, which would be slower than three tall. Among all of the types though, there was one outlier, the three wide tall tech clocking in at over 950 a minute. Oh my word. My going theory is that while we might mine the same amount of blocks, and all the other methods, we're leaving a lot of dirt behind. With the three wide tall technique though, we have far less dirt left behind because the walls act as a hopper system. Keeping the dirt contained, so you pick up dirt maximum. I started burning through shovels, 22,000 by day 11 and 29,000 a day later. We need 60,000 in the next 15 days. I think that's doable. But I was running out of storage space and iron. So I got to work making another iron farm. I'm also doing this commentary <laughs> in person. It's really it's really hard to mine when you're in third person. Okay, I should stop goofing off. I'm just dragging a villager over for the next iron farm, but this takes precedent. Oh my goodness, our first grown melon. Now, sadly, I can't insta mine them yet because I have kind of a terrible ax. So we're gonna need to stop by the end at some point, but for now, Oh, this feels good. You know what doesn't feel good? Finishing the second iron farm. Villager, what are you doing? You're kidding me. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Okay, iron farm two is operational. Well, that was until the zombie did this. Bro, he, he died. All you had to do was get in the boat. All right, well, you know it's therapeutic. Mining dirt. I'll keep doing that. I found a buried treasure chest in the middle of a plains biome. Cause like I've changed version of some Minecraft, right? This is a plains biome. This is a sunflower plains. Fifty thousand dirt. That's actually really good. Um, but all the way down here, we're the we're the classic sixty-seven melons. Kind of you know pogging out, as I believe the appropriate term. It'll ramp up though. It'll ramp up. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, I feel like I should clarify this before somebody calls me out in the comments. So we've mined 43,000 dirt, but we've picked up 55,000. My best guess is that since we're like insta mining dirt, it's it's too fast for Minecraft to register. Either that or I'm just hacking. I don't know, take your pick. Day 16, I crossed the 60,000 threshold. If my math is right, this is all I'll need to get 10 million melons. But I figured one or 2,000 extra wouldn't hurt. I go through phases of, wow, I think I'm gonna be able to clear the 10 million mark by a mile to, I'm not even gonna get close. <laughs> I don't, I don't know which one it's gonna be, dude. At this point, I'm way above pace. According to my math, I needed all of this dirt by day 25. We're on day 16, and the slime sock was slowly piling up. Okay, let's check in on our, uh, our iron farm. How's this doing? One stack? Which was a bit concerning, but I'm gonna chalk it up to not loading the iron farm while mining dirt, so we should still be on pace. Okay, next big thing on the agenda, I need to get a better axe, because to store 10 million melons? I'm gonna need like 10,000 logs. <laughs> and I, I'm definitely not doing that with, with an efficiency to act. Not gonna lie, I thought this would take way less time. We are missing out on melons. But we need to do this in the long run, so it should be okay. If you have a keen eye, you might be like, Rec, isn't this the point where you start building the farm? Yes, but we not only have to place 60,000 dirt, but according to my math, we gotta do it before day 50 and put melons on it. If everything goes perfectly, that means I have to click 120,000 times. I'm not sure I can click fast enough. Fear not though, there is an H an extremely fast way to click. Drag clicking. I mean, just look at what you can do with this. This is real. He is clicking this many times per second. Knowing this could be the key to my success, I called up an old friend. Would drag clicking like play super Dude, fast like that's this? that's so fast. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, like it would be like, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I need. That's what I need, man. <laughs> Nico sent me a short tutorial. I bought his recommended mouse, and I was well on my way to drag clicking. Said the liar. <laughs> this website says I click like a turtle. That's worse than before. So I spent well over two hours in creative worlds trying to master the art of drag clicking. I wouldn't say I mastered drag clicking. I still can't really do it, but I got far better and even learned another clicking technique. It's pretty fast. Look at this. It's called butterfly clicking. Here's the game plan. Sorry, I'm paused right here because I can't be wasting time. We're gonna make the farm eight chunks by eight chunks long centered on this island. That did mean I had to flatten some land though. Wow, this is uh, this is really slow. <laughs> The sun's rising on day 20. Okay, that's that's a bit panicky. Placing dirt is cool and all, but we are here to farm melons. So let's expand this thing. Day 20, the melons were looking great. My food supply didn't though, so I, I, I got some of that. We had our best slime night, but when I returned to plant crops, there were a few more mobs than I'd like. No, that got rid of so much dirt. Wait, I can just turn it to peaceful. It has been so long since I've played Minecraft in peaceful, I forgot it's a thing. Like a Imagine, I'm doing this, creeper explosion, skeleton shoot me, zombies are trampling crops. This is actually huge. Bro, what is dolphin doing? <laughs> Monumental location is about to happen. Yo, first diamond pickaxe broken. It's so relieving to finally be in the grind of planting. Everything up until this point has just been prep work. And I'm always like, am I doing my prep work wrong? Am I doing things less efficiently? Day 23, I decided it was time to build the first auto harvester. There was one problem. I have no redstone. This is a redstone <laughs> Redstone, redstone, redstone. Where are we at? And while we're here, we can get some diamonds for diamond hose. We'll need, you know, a few of those. Let's see if I can build this from memory, shall we? Put hopper minecart on top of hopper, break rail, and then shove a whole block in that contraption. So now, if I check, check a block on the ground, hopper picks it up. But in our case, if there's a hopper minecart on top of that, it gets sucked in through the ground. Six more hopper minecarts on top of that. See where this gets expensive? That's three hoppers for one block. <laughs> But here's the cool bit. We build the flying machine. Row of slime above everything. Iron bars above the hopper minecarts. And now we push those iron... Wait, why did that not work? Okay, let me try again. Let me try again. We push that into the hopper minecarts. Now they're all connected. Boom. That's it. That's the entire flying machine. We do need to make a control for it though, which is this thingy. We just need to build this on the other side, which we conveniently have over there. So we test it out. Okay, it didn't work. I built it wrong. But after a minor readjustment, maybe this works now? Yo! <laughs> it's working! It's working! Now there are a whole bunch of melons on the ground. That's okay, that's totally normal. That's because these things are actually full. That shouldn't happen when the farm gets warmed up. But look, it's day 26. My goal has been to start building by day 25. Do we look like we've just started? Okay, if you knew how big this thing's supposed to be, we've we've actually only really just started. Oh, and you know how I thought I was smart turning it to peaceful? Well, the iron farm worked because it had a zombie. So I had to sacrifice my peaceful nights and add another one in. It should be fine though. It's not like mobs are gonna ruin my- Dude, oh. I'm gonna be so glad when I have all my iron. Day 28, the first harvester made it back and was draining properly, which felt great. And I finished placing all of the dirt. Oh, you thought we were done? No, 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 this needs to be stacked at least four high. Day 29, things are coming along. We're starting the second stack. I've got lots of the hoppers in, although the mobs keep pushing them out of the way. That's kind of annoying. Okay, I kind of want to show this just because I, I, th I think it's really cool. So normally, I have to push all these slimes down, which means I need to pillar up here and then push them down like this for each section. But you wanna see what I've been doing recently? Bam, boom, pow, we just pull it down. Oh my God. Throughout the days, I kept noticing iron golems were escaping the iron farm. How? Which broke it, meaning I don't get any iron until I find and fix it. So I did a bit of investigating and found the problem. And it appears the iron golems for that farm are spawning all the way over here. I think I can just fix this if I uh, cover it in dirt though. Day 30, I got a few more flying machines up and running. Okay, okay, okay. It's it's, it's working for the most part. You'll see a, a couple of mine carts are left behind. I think it'll just pick it back up on its way. Please? Yeah? 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 Look at that! Look at that! That was something out of a movie, dude. Not everything was going right though because Minecraft just couldn't seem to give me a break. No. Holy schnackadoodles! <sighs> okay, I'm out, I'm out. Just please despawn. Day 35, we're like getting somewhere. 
I think today is a pretty important day because we're gonna test all of the flying machines. Boom! I may have built half the flying machines backwards. It's fine though, it's fine. I know how to fix it. We almost wasted the entire day getting that working. Correction, we wasted the entire day fixing that. <laughs> I'm not one to get sentimental or anything, but I was honestly getting pretty discouraged. No, dude, I hate you. So I put on some music because I honestly thought about quitting. But the first song that played, I kid you not, was called I Won't Give Up. All right, Spotify, all right, I'll play your little game. <laughs> well, keep going. But I am setting it to peaceful. Screw those extra iron rates. I need the peace of mind and organization. We're gonna freaking get this thing working. I got straight to work and it felt great. Destroying the old farm, crafting new resources. I built an entire new farm and got 10 million melons right there. No, sorry, it wasn't It wasn't that poetic. It was, it was mainly just a grind. I still messed up several times, but finally it's working. Yes, yes. Oh my god. We are at a grand total of 6,000 melons collected. For the next day, it was straight tilling. Boom! On day 40, we have one layer planted. I need to do all of this four more times. And I have 10 days to do it. We do have another huge problem. This is our store so far. It's gonna fill up relatively soon. As a friendly reminder, we need over 2,000 double chests. That's just to store 10 million. I'm not even including all of the hoppers I need to craft. Hopper minecarts. I chopped wood for three days. <laughs> also, we have five days to build the entire rest of the farm if we wanna be on pace. <sighs> okay, storage units are all in, except I'm a bit of a goof. I need to take every third one of these and move it back a block. I don't think I've ever fully internalized the, the saying, measure twice, cut once, but I think I'm learning that now. <laughs> I've only measured once on everything and I've been having to cut twice so much. Meanwhile, on the layer below... Holy crap, look at that infestation! Y'all better not be trampling my crops, okay? Day 49, I gathered some slime. Day 50, a wandering trader got stuck in the farm. Day 51, I had to fix something with the farm, but it should all be working now. Oh no, a sun rising on day 49. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna turn to day 50, trust me. We got some good work the following days though, finishing the second layer and starting on the third. I'd like to nominate a couple mistakes we had though. One, forgetting to plug up our water. This forced me to replant many crops. And two, that time I found all of our minecarts at the bottom of the ocean. Day 56, we're coming in close to finishing three layers of dirt. Building layer three was exactly the same as layer two, except we were running low on iron. Th this many stacks might not look like low, but it's low. Man. A day later, I got the flying machines working. Yes, I'm getting good at this now. Day 59, I came across a massive storage problem. I think... Yeah, our storage is, um, uh, it's filling up. It wasn't a perfect fix by any means, but I added a couple layers of chests, so we should be good for a couple days. Uh, what's that? Wait, why are we wasting so many melons? Why have so many things fallen? I completely forgot about the other side of the farm. It had even worse storage. Because we were peaceful though, my iron supplies were depleted. All I could manage was 26 hoppers. I don't know what you guys think the worst superpower would be, but becoming a human hopper is really low on the list. I spent several days manually storing the melons. But would you look at that? I finished planting on layer three. A day later, I caved and turned mobs back on. We cannot do this without the iron, but it's gonna be very annoying. Oh no, okay. Okay, all right, you see, oh my gosh, they're flying! Also, my game is starting to lag now. I went down to like 50 frames a second. Holy crap! There's so many melons on the ground. Maybe this is why I'm lagging. Are there melons on the ground here too? Oh my gosh! We're filling three double chests full? I mean, that's good. But like, this is gonna be a game of hopper collecting rather than melon collecting. Day 64. Dude, what is this? My storage system is just not there. I had the chests to store everything. I, I just didn't have the hoppers to put the stuff in the chests. So I ended up stealing hoppers from other places around the farm and once again, becoming a human hopper. Oh, also, yeah, the machines break occasionally. It's all right though, I learned how to jump start flying machines. It's like a car, except I, I don't know how to jump start a car. That analogy was terrible. Ah, oh, there's so many problems. After many tangents, I finally sat down to finish the fourth and last layer. <laughs> it died! Yes! Sun is rising on day 66. I don't know, there's nothing notable going on. I, I just thought I'd say that. I'm, I'm still just placing dirt. No matter how hard I seem to try, there always seem to be melons stuck on the ground. Is the storage system just full? No, the storage system isn't even full. The hoppers aren't even full either. 
Oh, wait. Where are the hopper minecarts? Let me introduce you to what I like to call the Great Hopper Purge. Normally, the hopper minecart will go straight down the row of melons, harvesting them as it goes. But when they were monsters, they would occasionally trample a crop. Then, instead of growing a melon here, it would occasionally put it in the wrong spot. Now this is bad because if the hopper minecart's hitbox is just barely off, it can nick this melon and stop all of production. I call these guys rebellious melons and I went to war with them, man. <laughs> I was also on the very last stretch for dirt place. Holy shnikey, dude! Holy shnikey! All dirt was in place on day 68. I just had to finish planting. I thought this was pretty interesting. Guess how many diamond toes I broke? 10? There's no way I've broken 10? I think the thing we need to worry about most now is storage. We have to fill all of these chests up. Oh my gosh, the human hopper has struck again. Look at all that. All of those are full double chests that I filled manually. How did this happen? What? <laughs> it must have been this guy. The Enderman was the last straw. Say your last goodbye, chicken jockey. Get wrecked. Oh, it killed the chicken too. Oh no, no, the chicken's fine. You know what? You're cool, chicken. You're cool. But you know what's not cool? This is how many hopper minecarts weren't working on just the first layer. We repaired the entire first row and somehow we've ended up with five extra hopper minecarts. Have I been crafting too many this whole time? I don't really know. Second layer has gone similarly over a shulker box full of minecarts in the wrong spot. Okay, third layer was certainly better in terms of minecarts, but still, that's so many. Like, look at that. It was just, look how off it was. It was off by that much, and I got stuck on one of these melon things. They're everywhere. <laughs> the rebellious melons are taking over. Sun is setting on day 74. Day 77, I realized I forgot to add the top layer flying machines. So I did a bit of an iron mining trip and got that sorted. And boom, still day 79. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, we finally have four layers. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Three stacked on top of each other? Oh, oh, that makes sense. It must have been like an Enderman or something. It took a while, but the farm was completely repaired. But I started noticing something. The Minecraft world was literally slowing down. Flying machines are supposed to move faster than this. I tested this by lowering my entity distance, putting less stress on the computer, and the flying machine sped up. Dude, this farm is getting to the theoretical limit. My game is actually lagging because it's so big. There was another side effect as well, that my sound just stopped. Okay, I did not think we were gonna come to this point, but we need more wood. Storage was overflowing. I never thought I would be speed bridging with chests <laughs> and actually have a purpose. <laughs> Day 85, resources are low, all four layers are going, but I don't have the resources to build another layer. Nor would it be worth it because it'd be farming for less than 10 days. I think I'm gonna, make a manual one. ended off classic with a bang and i can utilize my fast clicking again day 90 it's like the anticipation of the last 10 days before christmas except it's just dread if i'm gonna be honest i don't know if i'm gonna put this bit in the video logically like we're behind all my calculations we've crafted 2700 chests i can't find any way to convince myself we're gonna hit 10 million we're definitely gonna be in the millions, like in the ballpark. And the farm is big enough to get 10 million. It, it's just day 83, like we're out of time. Okay, I did not think we were gonna come to this point, but we need more wood. This is actually great. From here, my time was best spent transferring melons from chest to chest. Having limited hoppers was really hurting the farm. On the side though, I still managed to make the manual farm bigger. Chests aren't loading, but are hopefully filling up. Day 95, 139,000 melons. You know, that's not bad for not having collected anything from the chests. Is it gonna get us to 10 million? Well, we'll find out, won't we? I don't even know what to do at this point. Day 96, none of my manual farms are really worth my harvesting. I've moved all the melons I can from the chests. I'm done being a human hopper and there's really no point to make another layer because I wouldn't be able to get it in time. Even with this manual farm, I feel like I'm stuck in melon limbo. I don't know what to do. I feel like everything from here is just up to the number. 98. 98. We're at 222,000, so you know, pretty close to 10 million if I do say so myself. Day 99, it's day 99!
There it is. I've put everything on the table. I'm at level one. It's day 100. I spent the remaining time seeing how full the storage system was, finding melons on the ground, but there was nothing else I could do. From here, it was up to the numbers. Day 100's over. Oh my gosh. Now, if you thought the adventure was over, no, no, no. We need to count 10 million melons. Or however close I got. Probably didn't get 10 million, if we're being honest with ourselves. So before counting, we're at 270,000. Now, I did some rough calculations before starting this video, and I found out that just to craft 10 million melons, it'd take me something ridiculous, like 20 hours. Because <laughs> remember, 10 million is this amount of chests. I'm just kidding. It's four times this amount. <laughs> so the way we're gonna count them is by destroying the chests in creative mode. Oh yeah. I'm going through hyperspace. Oh my gosh, what? Wow, look at the cavity we had just for chests. Oh, no. Look at this. This is such a big farm. Dude, I'm getting nervous and I'm feeling sick. I don't think I hit it. How am I supposed to react if we don't hit it? I don't think there's any way. Oh, reality sucks. Oh, I can already see the number. What's the number? There's no way that's real. There's no way. I do not believe that for a second. Dude, there's no way! Is that real? Is it overlapping? Oh my gosh! I did it! Jared! I don't know if you can tell from my reaction. I got it! Are we sure this is 10 million? What else would it be? It looks like a four. <laughs> Under that, behind that zero. Jared, don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. <laughs> There's no way! We looked into the Minecraft code. I had 3.9 million. A failure. No! 